We are in Microsoft Office 2013 on a Windows 8.1 computer, although this will work on 8 and version 7 as well. And we are going to allow Dropbox and Google uh, to be able to be saved locations in Word, Excel, etc. So let's go ahead and open up Word just to show you an example of what we're trying to do. So if we go to File at the top and you go to Open, then you can see that we only have recent documents, OneDrive, and computer as an option. If we click Add a Place, only Office 365 is an option. So we want to be able to go into Google Drive or also into um, Dropbox to be able to save our files right from Word or Excel or PowerPoint, etc. So let's go ahead and close Word. And take a look at this link. I will put it as an annotation in the video in, as a link, but you can go ahead and take a look at it. It is a Microsoft link, Microsoft.com. This is not going to be a place where you'll get a virus. Uh, this is a perfectly valid file. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, run the script that comes. When you go to this website, you'll be able to download the file. It downloads as a .zip file. From there, you extract it to your desktop or wherever you want it to extract. And we see this Save Folders option. And this is the script that we're going to run. So let's go ahead and attempt to run that. First thing you got to do is open up a command prompt that's going to be with administrator access. So click on the start menu and type in CMD for command. Right click on the CMD and choose run as administrator. Alright, so we've already done this uh, earlier. So we've got our administrator desktop. You see it actually says administrator. So we have full rights. If you don't have administrative rights to your computer, obviously you'll need someone who does to be able to type in the password so you can get past that point. If you don't log in as the administrator for the command prompt, then the script will fail because uh, scripts are disabled except for administrators. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the exact folder location. So in my case, it's users Bob. It's on my desktop in a folder called Save Folders. So you'll have to locate the file in your download folder and extract it to your desktop or wherever it is you want, and then do a CD to that particular folder. So now all we have to do is type in Save Folders.ps1, and the script is going to run. Go ahead and click open. And it says here the script is not supported under Microsoft standards, etc., etc., etc. So this is the uh, what it looks like. So you can take a look. It does not include any types of viruses whatsoever. It's just basically adding uh, to the registry the various different things required in order to get your uh, Dropbox and your Google Drive to work. All right, so now we're about ready to run it. We Now we've seen what the uh, file looks like. So uh, basically all that did was just open the uh, text box. Make sure that when you are in Word that you're actually logged in as your, your particular account because it doesn't work unless you're logged in with a Microsoft account. And you can easily go to office365.com to set up an account. So we'll minimize that. We're going to hit the up arrow. And this time, instead of just opening the script, we're going to do a dot backslash. That actually causes the script to uh, run and have all the, that stuff in that text file uh, show up in the registry. One other thing we need to do, of course, is to make sure that we're in PowerShell mode because it is a script. So go ahead and type PowerShell. There we go. You should see a little PS next to it so you know you're in PowerShell. All right, if you run the script and you get this error that scripts cannot be loaded, then we need to change our security policy. So let's open up the policy editor. So what we need to do is to just go ahead and type get-execution policy. And when we type that, we see the word restricted. So we want to unrestrict it. So all we have to do now is type set-execution policy unrestricted. Now let's go ahead and try our script one more time. Hey, now it's looking like it's going to run. So we're going to want to go ahead and run it. So we'll type the word R for run. All right, so we need to type the path to our Google or uh, uh, Drive as well as our Dropbox. 
let's just go ahead and click find my folder let it find it and it found it now I don't have Google Drive in here but it's the exact same procedure so we'll just go ahead and skip that part and we'll click apply and it was successful let's go ahead and click close and now we will open up Word and we shall see if it has what we're looking for All right, so I had to close Word, reopen it again, click File, Open, Add a Place. Hey, look at that. Dropbox is now available. Let's go ahead and click on Dropbox. And we can see, we click go ahead and browse. And we should see our files that are in Dropbox since I've already logged in. And there they are. There's the files that I had saved earlier. All right, now I've installed Google Drive into my computer, and we're going to run the script again and get Google Drive up. So let's go ahead and run that. We'll t hit Run once one more time. And I'm going to do Find My Folder. And it says it can't find it. That's okay. I know exactly where it is. So we will just go to... right to the location and click apply it says it was successful close now let's go ahead and open up word again and see if our google drive will show up go back to file remember i am logged in and i see my dropbox from last time i click add a place look at that there's my google drive go ahead and click on that and if i click on google drive click browse there's my files all right, so that's how you add both Google Drive and Dropbox into a saved location in Microsoft Office 2013.